Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and today, after numerous requests, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get Minecraft's weather to go from this to this. I know, it's crazy, right? Just look at those puddles. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyway, let's get started. For those of you watching this video that don't happen to have shaders installed for Minecraft already, don't worry, I'll be covering the installation portion as well. But for those that already have shaders installed and are just wondering how to get amazing weather graphics, then I'll provide an annotation somewhere on the screen so you can skip to that next part. Alright, for those of you that stuck around, make sure you've downloaded the exact files that I have listed in the description, then we can move forward. Great, you got all the files. Let's begin. First off, you're going to want to open up Minecraft and hit New Profile. For the profile name itself, you can make it whatever you'd like, but I'm going to call it 1.7.2 Rain Reflections. Change the version to 1.7.2, save profile, then click play. When Minecraft loads up, close down the game and locate the files on the desktop. Double click Forge. When Forge loads up, feel free to click install client. From here on, Forge is installed, so we have the AOK -okay to add in our mods. So first off, locate your run by typing in run in the start menu. Click run, and type in percent after add a percent sign. When your roaming is loaded up, double click your .minecraft, then locate your mods folder. Now you can start adding in your mods, and if you happen to have any unrelated mods like Hammer Studio 3D Blocks mod or something like that, this is where you'd be adding them in also. Now one more thing, for those that for some strange reason don't have a mods folder, just make one. I've had that asked of me before and I just thought I'd touch on that. Alright, now that we've included our mods, let's open up Minecraft. Locate your profile. Mines of 1.7.2 Brain Reflections and click Edit Profile. As of now, all we need to change is the version. So, what I want you to do is locate this 1.7.2 Forge model with the 1147 on the end. When you've done that, click Save Profile and click Play. From here on, if you've installed everything correctly, then you should be seeing what I'm seeing. Now, let's move on to the fun part. Let's get some amazing weather graphics running. For those of you that finished the installation portion with me, great to see you got this far. For those that annotated over, it's good to see you guys also. So, the main deal. How do I get Minecraft to look like that? From here the process is quick and very simple, so let's get started. To get the visuals to take effect in game, you will need two things. One is the resource pack, which is responsible for the look of the game. And the second is the shaders pack file itself, which is responsible for deploying the weather effects. These two items work collaboratively with one another to achieve the results you see on screen. One can't exist without the other if you're looking to achieve these results. That being said, let's move on to implementing these two into Minecraft. As you can see, I have the resource pack and the shaders pack listed on my desktop. To get these exact results, you will need these exact versions so as to prevent any undesirable visual errors. From here, click Options, and you'll instantly see the shaders and resource packs tabs. We'll start by adding in our resource pack, so click the tab and move down to open resource pack folder. Click that and this is where you'd add in your resource pack. For the shaders pack file, the process is pretty much the same, so click the shaders tab and click open shaders pack folder. For here, Add in the shaders pack. After you've selected the resource pack and the shaders pack to be active via Minecraft, you'll begin to see just how amazing Minecraft's weather has become. But wait! There's something else! For those of you who are pretty active in watching my latest Minecraft cinematics, I've been working with a shader that's not this exact model. As you should be seeing in the video, the results are quite different from the preview too in terms of improvements in lighting, not to mention the awesomeness of Palm or Parallax Occlusional Mapping. For your benefit, this modification of the SUS V10.1 Ultra is available for download, but as of making this video, your only option is to personal message these guys on their Facebook page, which I have listed down in the description. If anything ever happens that prohibits the distribution of the modified SUS, I will definitely let you know through an annotation on this video. If this video was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. 
Anyway, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!